Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial we will be covering transitions and video keyframes. Let's just hop over to this part of the sequence um, where we've actually got some faster cuts and some slower cuts. Let's just say we wanted to add a transition. There are a couple of ways of doing this. The most easiest and common way is to go into the transitions menu and you can see that we've got some options here. We can actually close this there uh, if you want to get rid of the view and accept the timeline. But just click on there to get it back. Um, and down here we have different kind of transitions. You can see some are obviously cheesier than others. I think cheesy is probably the correct word to describe some of them. You can see as we uh, scrub along, it kind of opens up the doorway. Probably not what you want. If you're going for something a bit more serious, a bit more down to earth, um, the cross dissolve is the most common one. The only other alternative is the fade to colour. By default, this will fade to black. If we just grab this and drag it into in between two clips. That is how you'll buy a keyframe. You can see it over in the inspector now. If you can't see the inspector, press this button here or command four. And then we can actually choose which colour it's going to fade through. You can see now our clip fades through red, but again, the most common one is black or white. It's now really easy. You can also use the uh, precision editor for keyframes just by double clicking it. You can see you can now extend the transition, you can move the transition over, which is very handy. You can extend the clips on each side. just like any other transition editor tool. And we just double click to close that. The other thing to do is actually use video keyframes. Now I did have a question, yeah yeah we can all add audio keyframes and um, just a reminder if you've forgotten how to do that you can just alt click on the volumes level and you can change it over time and that will automatically do the sound. For video, the what you actually want to be editing is the opacity. So if we just come over into the inspector and you can see in our compositing section we have opacity. If we go over to the clip we actually want to be editing, add a keyframe. If we now click here and press show video animation, you can see that we actually have a keyframe here for, for opacity. And then we scroll along you can hold down Alt and uh, click and add a few keyframes. And these can be dragged along. And then, if we go over to here, at each keyframe, we can adjust the level. If we click this button here, you can see we can now actually get some kind of graphical view that represents the opacity. And then over time, the opacity will adjust. And obviously this can be used to create a transition. If we grab the first bar, you can see that it automatically allows us to add transition faders just like the audio. This is um, very cool, very handy for adding quick transitions. You can also see that by right clicking there is an option to add cross dissolve, command T. So if we wanted to go and hover our mouse over in between these two clips, we can select them both. Command T. You can see that instantly adds transitions to the either end of both clips we've selected. We could add it to an entire sequence. Or you could uh, just hover in between these two. With the clip selected, and press Command T, and that allowed it just to either end of a single clip, and obviously you can get rid of one and just keep one. Um, so I hope this was helpful. I hope you now know how to add transitions using shortcuts, Command T, using the transition navigator, and also by adding keyframes from the compositing section of our inspector. Thank you for watching. I hope this was useful, and I'll be back again with some more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials.